morning. You're listening to The Morning Crawl, the number one morning show in the sprawl. I'm Dodger, joined by my new co-host, The Quack. For those of you wondering where the ham is, well, it turns out he got an invitation to the royal wedding happening today. Hiya, sweetie. Are you almost ready to go? Almost. Sorry I slept late. If I rush, I can make it to the guard shed just on time. Didn't you hear? All the gates are closed today for the wedding. We got the day off. That's great news. So we can have a day just you and me? Hello, sappy montage of father-daughter bonding time. We only get the day off because we have to attend the wedding. Goodbye, sappy montage. You were a nice thought. So, should we get dressed up? What do you mean? I am dressed up. Didn't you notice my tie? You're not wearing a tie. Oh, darn it. Did it fall off again? Did you tie it properly? Lil, you know I don't know how to tie a tie. Did you clip it on properly? Lil, you know I don't know how to clip on a tie. Did you tape it on properly? I thought I did. It doesn't matter. No one will see us. Our seats are so far from the altar, we're technically closer being at home. Then I guess I'm ready to go. Okay, remember, grab as many appetizers as you can, then meet me by the door. We still have to find our seats and we'll need snacks for the journey. Stuff my pockets with all the shrimp I can find? Got it! This food is very efficiently laid out. And look, there's a waiver to fill out before it's allowed to be eaten. This food is very efficiently. This food is very efficient. What an absolute waste of money this entire dog and pony show is. Would have been just as well off flushing a ton of gold bars down the toilet, if you ask me. Renowned art critic Gil Meisterheimer described my ice sculpture as a startling reflection of modern society, exposing the monsters within us all. That's good, right? Hello, Mr. Melroy. Enjoying the big event? You know that I'm not. Let's just get to the I do's already, am I right? I don't know what that wedding efficient is waiting for. Oh, darling, a wedding is a terrible bore without a truly delicious bubbly. My dear darling councilwoman Ash always hides a bottle of the good stuff somewhere in her office. A royal wedding to patch up alliances and make political gains? Won't be the first, and it won't be the last. King Oswin would have been devastated to see his daughter put in this awful position. I only wish Sprankles could be here to see this. There, there, your grace. Where? Where? No, no. There, there. On my hand? Oh, never mind. How exciting! I spend so much time studying history, but today I am here making it. I wonder how this day will be viewed by future generations.
Security at an event like this is a nightmare. So many moving parts. Keep your eyes peeled for anyone using the wedding as a pretext to do something suspicious. The job never stops, Lil. Lil, you absolute wonder. Well done on the wedding file. It's gone off without a hitch. And with that, the Sprawl has acquired a powerful new ally. Brava, Lil! This hat... It is not as fantastic as my previous hat. My journey... It continues. Eddie, baby! You ready for the big show? Who said that? It's me! It's Lil! From the guard shed? Oh! My good friend Lil! I didn't say we were. Lil, I've gone and done it again! I've lost my glasses! And I can't start the wedding if I can't read the official wedding officiant overview! You have to help me find them! Because you're my good friend! Where's the last place you remember seeing them? Or just seeing at all? I thought I just had them! They have to be around here somewhere. Uh-oh. Don't tell me. They're crushed under your boot. No, they're crushed in my boot. I forgot that's where I like to keep them so I don't lose them. This is the exact reason why nobody keeps their glasses in their boots, Edward. What am I supposed to do now? What if we got someone else to lend you their glasses? Are you nearsighted or farsighted? I'm both. This could work. Then it's settled. You go and find someone to lend me their glasses, and I'll stay here. Why can't you do it? The pieces of my broken glasses are cutting my foot, and my boot is filling up with blood. Okay, you stay here. I should probably talk to my dad about this. Tell him I say hello. What's your current shrimp count at? We need at least 30 to get four stars. Dad, the wedding officiant needs a pair of glasses or else the wedding won't start. Also, Edward says hello. Who? Dad, focus. Who do we know that wears glasses? Doesn't Mrs. Abernathy? Good thinking. But you'll have to go and find her. She could be anywhere in the sprawl. Why me? Why can't you? I cut my foot earlier and... My boot is filling up with blood. Do you know where she is? She could be at any of the locations in the sprawl that you've already visited. And chances are, Mrs. Abernathy might want something in return for her glasses. You may need to find a different person who may have another certain item or piece of information. If there's someone you met at the gate, try to remember if you admitted them, denied them, or sent them to jail. It'll help you narrow down where to find them. Are you... Giving me a tutorial this late in the game? You may also find someone who wants an item that you already have in your inventory. That counts, so feel free to use it. Where's the skip button? Would you like to hear this information again? Okay, okay. Sheesh, just trying to help. Now, if I was Mrs. Abernathy, where would I be? I'm so glad I'm not out there slinging soup at that wedding. Instead, I get to spend the day with my boyfriend and his kids. His ex-wife, Denise de Cyclops, is a nightmare.
I am here to drown my sorrows at not being selected to cater the most fancy wedding. I know what you're thinking. What, Praetor Cargan? Aren't you supposed to be back in Marvag? The sprawl! It's your daddy Vladdy, and I'm here to rock your onions until they peel. That's my opening line. Always a huge hit. So bad nobody at the wedding got to hear. Don't worry, I put Vlad Extreme on your jukebox, so if you ever need your onions peeled, you know what to do. Beautiful day for a royal wedding, isn't it? Shame we can't go and see it for ourselves. My dad and I were invited. Why, you lucky little bit? Mrs. A, I need your help. The wedding won't start until the officiant gets a pair of glasses, and you have a pair of glasses. See where I'm going with this? You want me to officiate the wedding? No, I need your glasses. I'll give them back right after the ceremony. I promise. Oh, well, I'm afraid I can't just give them to you, my dear. I need them to read the odds on the upcoming Goblin Ball games. But I'll tell you what. If you get me a piece of food from the royal wedding that I can keep in my freezer and never eat, you can borrow my glasses for a little bit. Okay, Mrs. A. One plate of official wedding cuisine coming up. Excuse me, Mr. Person. Good afternoon. I am here today representing Catering Corp regarding a contract to provide the sustenance. Can I have one single appetizer to bring to my poor, hungry, starving grandmother? I am legally bound to share this collection of foodstuffs labeled accordingly. You're all heart. Here, I got you your keepsake appetizer. Thank you, dear. I like food. Who doesn't? Now how about those glasses? Good lashes. Yes. Holy crap, that was a shapeshifter again. And it's run off with my food for the real Mrs. Abernathy. Guess I gotta go get another plate or see if Mrs. A wants something else for her glasses. I'm here today representing... Got any more grub? Have you filled out requisition form 88B.7? No. I guess I'll go see if Mrs. A wants something else for her glasses.
is Abernathy. The plate of food is a no-go. You ate it, didn't you? That means I lost ten gold to Arthur saying you wouldn't. I thought that could be a problem with you. No, I didn't eat it. Wait, what did you just say? Well, what about a bottle of wedding wine to mark the occasion? Are they serving Petrardian fizzy, perchance? I wouldn't bet money against it, but they probably wouldn't let me snag a bottle from the palace. There's got to be a couple of bottles floating around the sprawl somewhere, though. One bottle of Petrardian Fizzy, please, Arda. No need to check my ID. I am absolutely underage. You know I can't do that, Lil. We'd lose our liquor license. If we had one. Or a food handling license. We shouldn't be allowed to operate. It's too much pressure. Emma, hold on in there. We're prepping for the post-wedding rush and she's losing all motivation in there. Tell you what. You find me something that'll help motivate Emma and I'll give you a bottle of the Fizzy. On the house, but under the table. What do you think? Deal. I know I've seen a motivational poster somewhere inappropriate recently. I wish more people opted to get married in the night. I do love a wedding, but the midday sun wreaks havoc with my complexion. Lil, there you are. I've been searching everywhere for you. You wouldn't happen to have a purple left-handed screwdriver on you, do ya? Or a pair of shoes made out of a watermelon? Uh, fresh out of both. Why? Rats. No reason. What can I help you with? I need to find something to motivate someone stuck in a service industry job. Hmm. How about that hang in there kitty motivational poster? It's always helped me when I've needed a boost. That would work perfectly. Go ahead and take it. But only because it's your birthday. It's not my birthday. Every day is somebody's birthday. Go out and give that to whoever's birthday is today. Ah, uh, sure. Whatever you say. Oh my god, I forgot you were back there. It's been months. You really took that motto to heart. Good job, kitty. Welp has a new master now, and he lives a very comfortable life. And he got to be a jockey in a polo match? Best day of Welp's life! And he's rich now, too, and likes to flash his money around. Here's thanks to you, Lil. done it. I found the perfect thing to motivate you, Emma. Take a look at this. A hang-in-there kitty poster. 
I hate cats. Oh, I guess it's not perfect then. No, it is. I can hang in longer than that stupid cat can. Hey, Arda, let's get things going, huh? Thanks, kid. Here's your bottle of Petrardian Fizzy. If you get caught with it, don't say you got it here. It's not for me. I'm getting it for a little old lady. How times have changed. a bottle of the fizzy stuff. Can I have your glasses now? Oh, Lil, I'm so pleased. Thank you so much. Yes, you may have my glasses. After enjoying this bottle, I don't think I'll be able to see straight anyways. Edward, I got you a pair of glasses. The wedding is saved. Lil, this is perfect! Now I'll be able to perform the ceremony. The wedding is saved. I just said that. We both did, at the same time. No, I... We did it, Lil! <sighs> I'll go get my dad so we can find our seats so the princess can officially say goodbye to her single life. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, humans, elves, dwarves, and other non-humans alike. We are gathered here today to witness the sacred union of our dearly beloved Princess Desdemona and the noble Prince Phineas, son of... Oh, bugger, I, I seem to have misplaced the next seven cue cards. We stand here to celebrate the, ahem, <clears throat> love shared between these two people, as their union will forge a strong bond that will bring a renewed sense of culture, dignity, and class to our fair city-state. The, ahem, <clears throat> happy couple have elected to write their own vows. Prince Phineas... The floor is yours. Wow, this is really happening. Okay, <laughs> uh, but hey, at least you've uh, got it going on in the looks department, right? <laughs> You're like a sprawl nine, which is a Petrardian six. Definitely good enough. <laughs> Charming. Princess Desdemona, you may proceed. Oh, wow, you really just said that. <laughs> Well, I am definitely not interested in trying to change you. Even though our people have differences of opinion on a variety of subjects, going forward we will solve our nation's disagreements with words and mutual respect. Of course. Uh, <laughs> however, a man of my pedigree has certain needs and on occasion respect must take a back seat to those insatiable needs. <laughs> you can't sincerely mean that. I was raised to be charming, not sincere. And now, the presentation of the ceremonial rings. Once you place the sacred rings upon each other's fingers, you may seal this alliance and your marriage with a kiss. And from that moment forward, your lives and indeed your two kingdoms will be forever bound. But first, if there is anyone here who knows of any reason that this couple should not be wed, speak now or forever hold your peace. I object! Oh no, Chuck is here to enact his plan. 
What do I do? How did that filthy goblin get in here? Guards! Wait! Oh, what a disgusting little creature! What did the councilwoman just say? Guards! I said wait, and I'm done being ignored. Guards, stand down. Chuck, what are you doing here? I told you to stay away. Ooh, the plot thickens. What I do today, I do for all citizens of the Sprawl who have felt unwelcome for too long. For those of us who look a little different, who can't walk down the street at noon with their heads held high. I'm looking at you, mole people. I couldn't stand by and watch as my people's chances for a good life were erased by the sham of a marriage. Hey. And I couldn't watch as the woman I love what did he just say? The plot thickens again. We just went from soup to gravy, people. Don't. You can't. The sprawl doesn't need you to sacrifice yourself to make it stronger. It already has an untapped power inside itself, waiting to rise up. Princess Desdemona, I love you. Will you marry me instead and join in allegiance with your own home? This will not stand. Uh, princess, you can't seriously be thinking of leaving me for this. I'm on the edge of my f***ing seat here. I will, Chuck. I will marry you. What? This isn't going to work out. People of the Sprawl, this may shock and horrify the worst among you, but this is Chuck, my secret goblin lover. And I choose him as my groom. And together we will empower our own people and usher in a better, brighter future for everyone in the sprawl. Watch out, Lil! What is that? Oh shit.